Hello FMGs, friends and doctors. Welcome to Killstar. Now we are going to revise PSM. PSM is that one vast subject. But if you show a slight interest, this subject definitely can help you to fetch more marks towards your passing. Most of them are going to come with images. And that is the reason why we are going to complete the revision of PSM with images. Now let's try to hope that we'll also get gonna get some images from these short clips of our PSM revisions. The first one, this is Dr. Orlaj. Now let's get revised, start the revision for PSM. The first one is gonna be epidemiological trial. Let's chat with me. Environment, host and agent. Let's go once again. Environment, host and agent. <coughs> if, just in case, time is added, then it becomes what? Epidemiological tetrad. It becomes epidemiological tetrad. Yes. So please remember, epidemiological trial includes environment, agent, and host. Whereas tetrad, it includes time as well, along these three. Okay. Now look at this. This is the image of what? National Health Mission in 2013. It was combined with National Rural Health Mission along with National Urban Health Mission by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. So this image right over here, you can see a man and a woman and a child being held in their hand. This is going to be an RHM. Okay. This image right over here, this is going to be PMJ, Pradhan Mantri Jan Aryokya Yojana. Now remember, Ayushman Bharat program was introduced in 2018. The, under this scheme, Pradhan Mantri Jan Aryokya Yojana, it provides over 5 lakhs per family Per annum, yes, as a secondary uh, and tertiary care across the public and also private hospitals. But about five lakhs are given to a family in the public and also in the private hospitals for the treatments. Good. This image right over here. This is going to be National Tuberculosis Elimination Program. National Tuberculosis Elimination Program. Here, in this image, if you look carefully, there's going to be two lungs inside the image. So, if you see this, then you can mark this one. National Tuberculosis Elimination Program and it has a new name for Revised National, uh, tu National Tuberculosis Control Program it is called as RNTCP here with a new logo where the category 1 and 2 are treated with the same regime of HRZP Cat 1 and 2 are treated with same regime of HRZP so this image right over here this is going to be called as DOTS Directly absorb treatment of short course. Good. It says Pura course Paka LA. Good. ICD based adherence supports DOTS 99. Incentive to the patients about 500 rupees a month and they are undergone chest x ray and also CBNET test for diagnosis. Good. This one is going to be Nick Shea. Remember Nick Shea. K. It is an online tool for monitoring and surveillance for the TB control program. Nick Shea is for the TB control program. Remember, it has an end like this. Good. This image right over here, this is going to be called as ICDS. Yes, the heart of ICDS is going to be Anganwadi. Point one to remember. It comes under the Ministry of Women. You can see a woman and also a child in the inside the image. It comes under the Ministry of Women and the Child Development, Government of India. The functional unit is going to be Community Development Block. It is the Community Development Block. This instrument right over here, this is going to be called as what? Infantometer used to measure the length of babies of about two years old. This is called as the Salter scale used to measure the weight in ICDS. And this is going to be our Shaki state used to measure mid arm circumference. Mid arm circumference. So this one right over here, this is called as urban then caliper. It is used to measure the skin fold thickness. Used to measure skin fold thickness. Beautiful. This one is called as portion avian. It is used to ensure malnutrition free India by 2022. Malnutrition India by 2022 portion. And this is the image of what? Midday meal scheme by the Ministry of Human Resource and Development. Good. You can see the children are holding the plates. And this is going to be the National Family Planning Program. This logo has been used for the NFP. This is the logo used for National Family Planning Program. This image right over here, this is going to be Janani Sishu Suraksha Karyakar. Here, the female has the chances, the pregnant female has the chances to undergo free diagnosis, free drugs, 
free delivery, free diet, free blood transfusion, and also free delivery of all the components. And this image right over here, where you see a mosquito, this is going to be called as National Vector Bond Disease Control Program. National Vector Bond Disease Control Program. The most common vector bond disease is going to be malaria. So please remember malaria. And most common viral vector bond disease is going to be dengue. Viral vector bond is going to be dengue. Look at this image here. This is going to be a national leprosy elimination program. It's uniform multi drug therapy for all patients. Three drug regimes is introduced dapsone, rifampicin, and clofazine. Dapsone, rifampicin, and clofazine. This one is going to be integrated counseling and testing center. It aims to provide early HIV detection, please remember early HIV detection and supports in confidentiality. Uh, and also in integrated setting. Look at this image right over here. This is going to be ice lined refrigerator. It is located at the PNCs. Yes, it is located at the PNC. Good. Most importantly, remember the temperature where the temperature is going to be about 2 to 8 degree. 2 to 8 degree. So please remember this. 2 to 8 degree. Yes. Anemia Mukbarat. This, this image right over here showing the blood uh, droplets. This is going to be called as Anemia Mukbarat. It was introduced in the year 2018. It is to reduce the prevalence of anemia by 3% every year by 2022. Anemia Mount Bharat. Discussing about national program for the prevention and control of diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and also stroke. This image right over here. This is going to be for the national program for prevention of control of diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and also stroke. Good. Now, this is used for health promotion and also for opportunities training and used in case of reference. This is going to be the image of National Iodine Deficiency Disorder Control Program. Here, salt iodization uh, done 30 ppm at production level and 50 ppm at the consumer level. These are two important points which are going to remember for the exam. Here, you can also see the sun which represents. Sunlight for the production of salt. It is going to be National Iodine Deficiency Disorder Control Program. Pradhan Mantri Surakshit Pradhan Mantri Surakshit Matritva Abhiyan Sunan. Which of the following logos have been used? This one. Good. This talks about free antenatal care checkups, 9th of every month by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India. Okay. Now this right this image right over here talks about NREGA. National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. Like greater than 100 days of employment per year, maximum one number uh, per below poverty line family, usually uh, used for unskilled manual labor. Probably you could have come across these people working in the rural parts of the country. And uh, their lifestyle change is going to be a key role to our back mode of our economy as well because they are the one who are strongly involved also in making India stronger by doing agriculture. Look at this image right over here. This is going to be Pradhan Mantri Dhan Yojana. Yes, this is for basic financial services such as saving accounts, insurance and credit providing them with a bank account. So here we have see the symbol of our OP. This image right over here would be Aadhaar. I think everybody knows Aadhaar and knows how to identify it. It's easy. Now, so look at this image right over here. This is going to be Ujjala Unat Jyoti by Affordable LEDs for All. This is come under Ministry of Power. What happened was in 20 years back, electricity was not available to everyone in the rural parts of the country. But nowadays, uh, it is, it's mostly available and people are able to utilize it nicely. And uh, in order to make the emissions a little bit lighter, the government has also introduced LEDs where uh, they help to give LEDs for affordable and also subside prices. Good. And another important scheme which I remember is going to be Ujjwala. Please remember Ujjwala Yojana. This is going to be giving free LPG collections to the below poverty families and cylinders at subsidized rates. Good. So please remember Ujjwala as well. There is another important one which is called as Ujjawala. Please remember this is going to be Ujjawala. This is going to be a scheme for prevention of tracking and rescuing, rehabilitation, reintegration of victims of the trafficking and commercial sexual exploitations. Ujjawala Yojana. This is going to be Ujjawala Yojana where you will see female and also children. 
Now, Betty Bachao, Betty Badao, Padiyan, it is by the Ministry of Child and Women Development. This actually promotes the improvement of girls' education and awareness about the importance of girls' education. Yes. So, this is going to be Betty Bachao, Betty Badao, Padiyan. Probably you might have heard about this one, which is going to be Ayush, it is the Department of Ayurveda, Yoga, Naturopath, Irani. Siddha and also homeopathy coming under the Ministry of Health and Family uh, Welfare as well. This logo right over here, this is called as Agmark. Yes, Agmark is a certification mark employed on agricultural products in India, assuring the confirmation that it's a good standard. It's good. Agmark is very important. So, this is the logo of what? This is going to be Bureau of the Indian Standards. Very important. Yes. Now look at the male condoms here having per index of 2 to 14. <laughs> Uh, 100 women's per year. This is going to be called as the vaginal sponge, and this is going to be the female condom. This is called as the female condom. Good. This image right away, this is going to be copper tea. Copper tea, very good. Yes, it is a uh, second generation IUCD. A signifies vertical length of the limb, and 380 signifies surface area of the copper being used. Good. This is going to be Myrina. It has levonorgestrel medication. It is a third generation IUCD. Third generation. Good. Permanent method of contraceptions where the per index is less than 0 0.100 women per year is going to be tubectomy, most commonly used method and most common technique. Contraceptions, which has to be also remembered, we are going to remember Chaya. It is also called as Sahili or Saint Kurman. It's going to talk about once a week pill. Antara, Antara, this one right over here, it's I am injectable hormone contraception, which has depot medroxy progesterone acetate. DMP, this needs to be also remembered. Good. And a quick revision of the biomedical waste. You look at this yellow uh, bin here, what we can uh, discard animal, human, and automatic waste, solid items, contaminated blood or tissues uh, with uh, fluid, cotton swabs, uh, chemical waste, expired and discarded medicines are discarded in the yellow bag. Red bag, please remember syringes without needles, urine bags, gloves, tubes. Uh, all put in the bag. In the blue bag, please remember we are going to put the metallic in body implants, glassware, and also broken and discard, discarded contaminated glassware. In the white, we are going to put the needles, blades, scalpels, and lancets. These are the important points which you are going to remember for the biomedical waste management and the bags. Please remember yellow, red, blue, or white, and devise it carefully. Good. This image right over here, this is going to be the World Health Organization established in the year 1945. Constitution was done in 7th April 1948. The headquarters is going to be at Geneva, which is in Switzerland. Good. And this image right over here, this is going to be the image of UNICEF, logo of UNICEF, United Nations International Children Emergency Fund. Quick revision uh, provides vaccines, safe water, sanitation, HIV prevention, mothers, and also babies. Please remember. The headquarters is going to be in New York. In New York. Good. Look at this image right over here. This is going to be United Nations Organization. It is an international organization that was founded in the year 1945 to promote peace, dignity, and also equality. Good. This image right over here, this is going to be International Red Cross, a humanitarian organization that aims to protect the human life, health, and also elevate human suffering. Red Cross. Please remember Red Cross. So this is the image of World Bank. It provides funding to the developing countries, offers guidance for development of projects, and aims to reduce the poverty. This is the image of World Bank. Look at this. Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations aims to end the hunger, improve nutrition, and also promote sustainable agriculture. To promote sustainable agriculture. Good. And this image right over here, this is going to be ILO, International Labor Organization. The headquarters is located again in Geneva. Please remember Geneva. Promote social justice and also fair labor practices worldwide. Aims to provide social protections for workers. Social protections for workers. Look at this important image here. This is going to be female anaphylis. Yes. Vector for malaria. Black spots are seen on the wings especially. Yes. 45 degree angle sitting position. Larva parallel to the surface. Please remember this is parallel to the surface. These are the important points which you are going to remember for the female anopheles mosquito. And this one is going to be Aedes aegypti mosquito, vector for dengue, yellow fever, chicken fever, and also Zika virus. 
white spots also called as tiger spots these are called as tiger spots larva suspends from the water surface this image right over here is going to be culex vectors for uh, japanese encephalitis and lymphatic uh, filariasis and also hunchback appearance it has hunchback appearance this image right over here this is going to be measles also called as rubiola also called as rubiola this is a highly contagious viral illness which can cause severe disease and also might lead to complications in, in some cases can lead to death these spots right over here these are called as coptic spot a sign of measles that appear on this small white bluish white spots on the mouth and that too especially before the appearance of measles rash these are called as coptic spot so look at this image of louse here, it is very very important, uh, it is called as epidemic typhus, it causes relapsing fever and also trench fever, these are the important points you want to know. Look at the head louse, body louse, this is going to be sand fly, it is also called as phlebotomus, now it causes visceral leishmaniasis, remember kala aza, it is very very important, it causes kala aza, cutaneous leishmaniasis leads to oriental sore, deadly boy and also dark blood boil. So these are the important points we're going to move on sand fly. This image right over here, this is going to be called as red wind bug. It is American trypnosomiasis, causes Chagas disease. Chagas disease. Parasite is found in the feces of triatomic red wind bug. Good. This is going to be rat flea, which has been also asked in the exam multiple times. This is called as Xenopsida shopsis. It causes bubonic plague, endemic typhus, and schizerosis. Let's chant again. again. Bubonic plague, endemic typhus, and schizerosis mainly infest the rats, but also can be found in other rodents. See in rats and also in other rodents. So, with this, we have controlled all the doctors, friends. With this, we have controlled most of the important images that has to be revised before the FMG exam. I wish you guys all the best. May all your hard work be uh, given a positive and a good uh, result uh, on the main day of the exam. Just make sure that you are not going to get distracted on the day of the exam until 4.30 in the evening. At any cost, you are not going to judge the paper. You are blessed and that is the reason why you are being uh, consistently working very hard. You are so blessed that you are going to see your success very soon in this January 2025 itself. Love you all. Stay positive and get back to me after your exam. Thank you so much. Love you all. Thank you guys.